Esther Norona, at a very young age, you have reached heights. You reached heights in the area of music, in the different fields of music, of arts, music and dance. So attaining this height at this very young age, uh, what do you feel? I feel happy that I have been able to do what I wanted to do. Actually, this is not my uh, the dream of only me. It's like my parents have dreamt of this, my teachers, my friends, my my and all the people who know me and who are related to me have always dreamt that uh, that I want to do what I want to do. It's like everyone wants to me to come in front in life. It's like they want to step, they want me to step forward in life. So I'm very happy that I'm able to do what I want to do and what people want me to do. How did all this begin? Like you getting onto the stage, gaining self-confidence, bringing out yourself. How did it begin? Like from a very young age, my my parents are very fond of music. So when I was very small, maybe uh, six months old or something, uh, they used to play music a lot, and I started loving the music. And uh, um, I, I used to enjoy music a lot. So my and uh, I used to grasp a lot and sing the same as like they play a cassette for me. The next time I sing with the cassette. So uh, the, my parents came to know that I am interested in dance and music. So I was in Bahrain when I was small. So my mother and my father they left Bahrain and they, we came to India for good. And uh, they sent me to school in Mangalore itself. And uh, I studied. Uh, they put me to all extracurricular activities like uh, dance, music, and all. You told me that your parents were interested in music. Yeah. How did dance come into your family? Uh, my parents were fond of music and dance, but they never got a chance to dance or sing. Must be they have so had interest on that. In that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Taking to account, you are from a Mangalorean Catholic family. Yeah. The tendency to join Bharatanatyam is quite remote. You would yeah. rather join Western dance or ballroom dance or anything. Right. So how was this transition to uh, Bharatanatyam with an Indian style? Actually, um, my, it was all my parents' decision. And I said, okay, because I used to like the costume of Bharatanatyam. I was like, oh, so many ornaments and that makeup and the dress. Wow, okay, okay. okay. My mother said, you go to Bharatanatyam? Yeah, sure, I'll go to Bharatanatyam. I came to know the value of it after a certain age. Like, I joined at the age of seven, no? Oh. By eight, nine, I was like, okay, I like Bharatanatyam, so I'm dancing. Then later, I came to know the importance. Entry into the world of music, okay, either be it instrumental, be it vocal, how it has been. And I see a very significant change because you're learning, you're learning Western instrumental, instrumental like the guitar and the piano. At the same time, you're learning Carnatic vocals. Yeah. So how is this Western and Eastern merge? Yeah, both of them have some connection in them actually. The piano that you study have got some harmonic minors in them, which are very much related with the arohana and avarohana of Carnatic music. So there is connection between. It's on the whole, it's music. So it's Carnatic music and Western music. That's all. But there is connection. It's not entirely different. Generally what happens, uh, this learning music or any art form yeah. is affair which happens only during the schooling time, college time and then once you get into a professional world or once you get into a family world, it all dies down. Yeah. So is this going to happen with you also or do you have very strict plans of taking it forward? 
I really, I really don't wish to leave all these things. I would like to continue. It's like now they say it's 10 standard. No, are you going to leave your dance class or something? I'm like, no, it helps me to, uh, in fact, my cultural activities, all these, no, they help me in my studies also. They don't simply waste our time, actually. They help us in, uh, in memory power and all that. The, way we, the dancing and all, we need to remember things, no? Yes. Everything that, all that helps me in my studies also. So it's not... Which was the first performance that really gave you confidence when it comes to Bharatanatyam? Our sir, our dance school, it goes here and there for many ballets. We do uh, different stories like uh, Yesu Krista Katamala, Sati Dakshani and all that. In our institution, she is known to all for her joyful nature. On this day, I sincerely pray to Almighty to be constant cause of guidance and support in her in art. Before joining the vocal itself, I had given uh, most of the shows with uh, Wilfi Ankle. I, I learnt uh, vocal from past four years. So I've been singing before that one. So, so Wilfi Remembers has been uh, one of the, your prominent mentors who has really given you a stage to perform and had given you a lot of backing. So what is your experience of working with him? Yeah, yeah, he's a good person. He supports us and uh, he has helped me a lot. Like he used to give all good songs and given me an image on people. Like people are like, ah, that's Kokore Koko girl, Achiko Achiko girl. That is where uh, Wilfie's yeah. role plays. Apart from that, who, who have been your other mentors? That you... uh, Oscar Velta, my music sir. They are like, I do my Bharat Natyam programs and all. I, at those times, I can't attend my piano classes or guitar classes. Even my auntie Vimla, my piano teacher. They are all like, yeah, anytime. Esther is a very hardworking child. She's very gifted. She's very versatile. And I really admire her for using all her talents. Now even I have I'm been um, uh, preparing for my program in July 1st, my teachers are like, no, you can jo join after July 1st, you can come to the, uh, go to that class and join later. They're all very much like, do something in life, like, don't, needn't uh, think a about us. Yeah, a lot of encouragement. All people around me support me a lot. <laughs> Esther has been always down to earth in her endeavor as she was ever ready, open for corrections and she is a eager spirit to learn more. It's actually not too much. What most of the children do is they come from school, they, uh, they watch TV, they have tea, they waste most of their time according to me. <laughs> I stay at home one evening I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? I'm like, I don't get work at home. It's like what I do. I come from school at uh, 3.30. Now it becomes late because I'm in 10th standard, 4, 4.15. Then I registered my class from 5. So I continue my classes from 5. When I come back, it's 7.30 or something. I, that, I don't study in the evening. So I have bath, I have food, I sleep. I get up morning at 5.30. Okay. Then I practice my piano because I answer grades in piano. So I answer piano. Studying and all is in the morning. And then I go to school fresh and... In the evening, I don't think it's the right time to study. Like your brain flutters here and there. You go to school. Ah, what I spoke in school yesterday. What I did. What I that. No. In the morning, you'll be much fresh. Talking about school, how has been the the response that you've got from your teachers and your classmates? My classmates are very helpful. They're like, should I write your notes? Should I do your homework? I'm like, no. I, homework I always do. Notes at times, if I'm absent or something, I give them. They write and get to me. She's a perfect friend, I can say. But she's a really a true friend and a very good human being. In school as well as everywhere. And uh, teachers are very friendly. They help me a lot. Teachers' opinion, they say she is the uh, example, exemplary student. And even in the class also, she participates 
in the school activities too she participates in all the activities and she is very helpful a very generous and you know, almost all the departmental activities she has participated and brought many laurels to our school how has all these activities have they affected or helped your academics because performance in school is very yeah. important um i i scored good in school i get a plus a plus means above 90 so i the my piano and all helps a lot actually in piano when we have ex- appear for exams and all we have got to buy hard pieces she started with piano and uh, then uh, about 2 years back she started with guitar then she started with violin in the meantime she started singing in different shows and she has taken part in our musical evenings uh, which which we call the students musical evening once a year the bharatnatyam what we do and all is like ekagrata they say what they say concentration, concentration. so you get the concentration uh, you get the patience it's like even if you are tired even if you are sweating you can't bear the pain you have to smile yeah. and dance you have to smile and dance so it helps you keep smiling even in uh, whatever difficulty comes i'm like huh, i have to smile i have to face this problem you learn to face problems sometimes you're like nervous huh? what will i do on stage but you have to face the people this makes you like uh, exams are coming i have to face it so it helps you in one or the other way nothing is uh, yo yo mucha sundari yo 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 mucha sundari tu distai bori kai sok tai bori sundari tu bonari bita what has been the role of her family in all these things your mother especially because yeah. we we see her giving you a lot of backing and physically she is present at most of your performances yeah. rather so what is this backing that you got my mother supports me a lot from the beginning from the the taste of music in my life itself is given for my mother my mother is always like she used to put on the music i i remember actually, actually to what i know is till the age of 1 year my mother is not on tv we used to always sit and listen to music music and music so that made me a music lover actually then uh, from the age uh, maybe from uh, from the time i came to india But the if they have not brought me from Bahrain to India I don't think I would have reached this height it's like all the, all that I have that I am today is all because of my parents and anything I want to do something for the society it's like I become a doctor I do it for myself it's like ah must be you are helping the sick but you can't help the society I want to do something for the betterment of the society actually even in the music and arts what I'm studying is not only for my satisfaction I want to do something for the society and the people which is that performance in your life which you really hold it high in terms of maybe self satisfaction or uh, the response that you got from people or a real recognition that you got or maybe the encouragement which is one performance it was my bharatnatyam ranga pravesha i had i had struck, it was like normally people take one year to do and i was like so i wanted to do in the 8 months so so was like 8 months is too less and i i've just joined it's like no you can't do this and i was like i want to do it it we have i my sir has given his best to me and and we have all like we have day and night has to practice to that and the day i i did it i was so happy the last dance of my program was like yeah i did it i i was i was not on my feet i was like sir started the song he told me it's come after two lines the moment music started i'm coming on the stage sir is wondering i'm like i have told you to come later <laughs> so like what am i supposed to do now he's like start dancing i went on dancing on the stage i was so happy so happy it was the happiest day ever. not many girls from the catholic family take up to bharatanatyam yeah. okay or even to carnatic vocal singing as such yeah. you have really put yourself into it and really brought it closer to uh, the community as such yeah. so how has been the response from the people or what has been the reaction from the people people have always thought bharatanatyam is something very complicated we can't understand bharatanatyam the words of bharatanatyam oh they are very complicated i can't understand in the beginning people were like i can't we are like i am doing bharatanatyam program it's like i could have come but i don't understand bharatanatyam okay. they have never they have never known bharatanatyam the they didn't want to know bharatanatyam it was something like that and they like no i can't they should not even go to try like what is bharatanatyam i am like come no once they came and saw what it was now they are like ha bharatanatyam has something in it something ah now as i go on I, i'm like trying to convince the people of my community that bharatanatyam is not complicated it's easy if you want to know it it's like if you have the desire of knowing a, knowing a thing you will however try to know a thing it's only the desire that you want so i'm trying to get the desire in people i, I want to know them bharatanatyam it's something very very unique okay. do you want to get into the world of films okay playback singing or you want to get into music or even dance or choreography singing is my aim it's like every show i do is my dream every show i do is my dream everything i do is my dream so it's nothing like 
that would be the day i'll be happy every show i finish and i come down i'm like i'm happy all the time at this point of time what have you got to say to all the people of your age and those who aspire to become something in life what i say is everyone calls me talented but it's not that everyone in this world is talented on behalf of all the daiji world viewers that we have got um, i congratulate you for your success and wish you all the best yeah thank you it's all because of your blessings you must all pray for me and support me a lot Take the